Good day, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Stephen Gabriel. I'm a part-time farmer. I'm also a joiner. And I'm in my second year studying environmental management at Costat. Right? And I would like to say it's really been a pleasure being here. You know, hearing that some of the, the good practices that we could use, that we could implement as farmers to help in, in, um, in, in, the, in helping the environment. All right, in taking care of the environment, you know, water conservation and stuff like that. You know, I would like to say thanks to Dr. Shango. As my boy was saying, support is very important in something like farming, in which part you have to face a lot of difficulties, a lot of obstacles. All right, I'd like to also thank Shaba for forming the Maracas Valley Farmers Association, in which part farmers could come together and we could like come to, to conferences like this to gain the knowledge that we should be getting, let like you say, from, from the government then. You know, this is thing that, that the government of Chan Tobago should be doing to, to make sure that the that Chan Tobago have sustainable agriculture, you know, have sustainable food security. All right? Um, I try my, my best to my knowledge to practice good Good, good agricultural practices in my in my in my farmland. Okay, I I'm really, really, really more interested in getting to know some of the things that that we could we could do and things that we could use instead of using synthetic chemicals. You know, because we talk about about chemicals being harmful to the consumers and stuff. You know, but I I ain't hear nobody say anything about. The chemicals that farmers use in being harmful to, this, to, to themselves, you know, by, by spraying and, and stuff like that, inhaling these chemicals. You know, sometimes a drop will fall on your hand. You know, some are saying, you never know what, what, what that could cause. You know, some because I heard about one instance in, in where a man from in Aranguez used to use chemicals without spraying and stuff like that. And I hear where well, somebody told me that, right? I just say, they, they say when he did the autopsy, they're like, his, the inside of his body was kind of more or less kind of rotten in, you understand, from using the chemicals, you know. So I, I, I would like, for like people going to a place at a space where I'm going to work on the highway and um, after my are going up there, right? When you're passing there, we'll be spraying chemicals and things, you understand? The place will be smelling rank, you know. So now you're passing, everybody like, hey, what's that smelling so? You understand? Everybody holding their nose and things, you know what I'm saying? And that's the same food that, that people have to, have to, had, had to consume, you know what I'm saying? So I would like, for, you know, if, if, we, if we get in touch with these people and them who who using more chemicals to bring the crops and make them aware, and not only what they're what they doing to consumers, right, but what they're doing to themselves because they sit down in the, in the shed out in front and they had the chemicals running through the um, water system and whatnot, wetting the plants and things, and they sit down there and they're inhaling all of that. You understand? And they mightn't be aware about the dangers that that, 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 that will be, be doing to, to them. You know? So I, I, I would like for the Cropper Foundation to like, you know, make more outreach programs to more farmers across Trinidad and Tobago. You know what I'm saying? And I would just like to highlight this, like what the councillor, everybody was saying that most farmers, there's, 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 this is more or less our main concern, land tenure. Land tenure is a, is, a, is a real big topic when it comes to sustainable agriculture. Because I have, a, a, I, I have something that I went through. I applied for a five acre plot, right? Since like 2004, you know? Every year I used to go back and check, 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 check. The file, the, but first time I applied, they said they lost the file. So I had to start apply over again, right? I apply over. Check. It didn't go down yet. It didn't go down yet. They send it in Port of Spain. They send it in around where they send it in by this one. They send it in by that one. All, you know, like everybody just telling you something else. You're getting confused and you're getting your whole run around. All right? At the end of it, at the end of it now, what, they, what they're telling you now is that somebody else applied for the land too. And, you know, it's, it, it, it's real confusing then. You know what I'm saying? So it come like, it come like, for, for somebody, for a young farmer, or for a farmer who's starting 
in agriculture who do not have the money, you, 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 you know, like you're constricted to poverty then. Because you have no support, you understand? Nobody helping you. You're going to the, to the, um, to the government for assistance. They are no longer helping you. You understand? Because it comes like you have to have money to pass. Because one of the men in the Ministry of Agriculture told me that Frank. You understand? He told me that Frank, you see, you, had to pass, you just had to pass money to get through. In order to get all this, you have to, to, have to pass money to some big man. You understand? Like how would this go? So I, I, will, I will like, well, I know the Crop Foundation and non-government organize, organization foundation, but I would like for like somebody, I don't know if anybody from the Ministry of Agriculture who we have here to really look, look into these kind of instances now, right? Because the people know who, who have the money and thing, and they might be passing the money on the low. They, not, they don't have money already. They, they're not interested in agriculture. You know what I'm saying? They might be just looking for a, a piece of land. You know, they're not really interested in, in food security and sustainable agriculture and good agricultural practices. You know? They could just be looking for a piece of land so they would just say, well, you know, yeah, let, let's go on my, on my estate. You know that kind of way? You know what I'm saying? People like me and you really interested in agriculture, you know, and really putting my shoulder to the wheel and thing, had, had to be suffering out here. All right? So there I want to thank Shaba and the Cropper Foundation, all right, for, for, for making this, this possible, all right, and for bringing, you know, farmers together so that we could voice our opinions and, and you know, to, to know which part we stand now because, you know, we just be out in the hot sun facing it, you know what I'm saying, and, do, and doing the things that people would normally do and things that people shun, you know, you know, so my boy was saying, people saying he mad for going out in the hot sun and, and terracing land. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? I'm mad people action in that kind of hot sun. You understand? Yeah. For real? Yeah, you understand what I'm saying? So, I just like to say thanks to, to everybody. Still, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Well, well, um, to say like, like stuff like terrace, you know, and, and things like when you're using certain chemicals now, it's washing back into the water courses and things. You know what I'm saying? This is, this is thing that, you know, it, it actually that is more or less common sense then. You know what I'm saying? But it's good to have the, the, the knowledge and to know first hand also, you know? So, yeah. So you know exactly what you're about even when you go out in the, in the field, you know?